Toastmasters, future Toastmasters, would you agree with that statement? The learners of today are the leaders of tomorrow. None of us are born with leadership skills, otherwise there would be a lot of coups going on in those daycare centers. <laughs> <laughs> leadership is a learned trait. When I started in my leadership journey and my learning for my lifelong leadership lessons, I was 13 and I joined the Toronto Scottish Regiment Cadet Corps. Now I thought I knew a little bit about leadership because I'd been in Cubs and Scouts and Ventures and I had leadership positions there. But we go through stages when we step into a new job or new organization and I was in the first stage but it took me a little while to realize it. The first stage is unconscious incompetence. <laughs> we don't know what we don't know. When I finished cadets, I had learned all about the principles of leadership. To seek out and accept responsibility. Flexibility. To treat others with respect, to gain respect. There's eight more. <laughs> but I learned them all. I was now in the unconscious, sorry, the conscious incompetent stage. I knew what I didn't know. From there I went on and I joined the Canadian Armed Forces. Imagine back in 1975, young 18-year-old, out in Gage Town, New Brunswick, looking at my drill sergeant for the first time and having him yell and scream at me. And I thought, that's not leadership. That's not leadership, and if we walk the walk, we need to learn that that's not leadership. Now, there's a reason that they do that in the military. First of all, they're making sure that you can handle pressure and be a leader under pressure. A full third of that program washed out and never completed the course. I was one of the lucky ones that did. I went on and I after 14 years in the Army and retiring as a captain, I went on and I had several positions, uh, including a plant manager in a company where I met Janice, and who also dragged me here, by the way. <laughs> and then I went on to another company where, where I had to learn leadership a little bit again, because it was my own company. And there were times when I wanted to yell and scream because it was my money that was out there. But that's not leadership. The learners of today are the leaders of tomorrow. And I was now in the conscious, competent stage. I knew what I knew, and I was starting to grow. And then I joined this wonderful organization called TOSNA. <sighs> leadership in Toastmasters is a little bit different. While the principles of leadership do not change, and they exist worldwide no matter where you are, the application is a little different. Because in Toastmasters, all the leaders are also volunteers. And while there are rules and regulations in a company, you might look at that and say, hey, if I do this wrong, I could get fired. Even though somebody's not holding that over your head, there's a knowledge of that. And in the Army, of course, you could end up in jail. And I once said to a Sergeant Major, you can't put me in jail, I'm an officer. He said, watch your fingers, sir. <laughs> so there's always that thought in the back of your head. And while that is not maybe induced fear by somebody else, there's still that respect and that fear that exists. But in Toastmasters, that doesn't, because we're all volunteers. And when you came through the door to Toastmasters, how many of you came through the door to Toastmasters and said, I'm coming here because I want to be a leader? <laughs> you didn't come in and say, I want to be president of the club, Kevin? No. <laughs> not one of your goals? No, we came in the door because we wanted to improve our communication skills to overcome a fear of public speaking, to become better, and to have higher self-esteem. Nowhere in there did it say, 
We need to become leaders. But the learners of today become the leaders of tomorrow. So I took that step and I ran for president. I have any back in North Carolina. And I was elected president of the club. And then something happened to me. At the point that I, I was at a crossroads and I wanted to be the world champion of public speaking. And then somebody influenced me in a different direction. And I went on to become district governor and then international director. Because my journey is not over. The learners of today are the leaders of tomorrow. Madam Chair.